Hi, today's lecture is Engineering Drawing and Importance of Shape. It is going to be strictly under the Engineering Services Examination Paper 1 pack. Starting with Design, Drawing and Drafting. Design is an art, idea or object. You add it over a paper, it becomes a drawing. And after you add dimensions or scale them to a definite proportion, it is drafting. Selection of a drawing sheet is first and foremost part of engineering work. There are three types of sheets, ISO A type, special elongated, exceptional elongated sheet. Now the first choice of an engineer is obviously ISO A type sheet which are A4, A3, A2, A1 and A0. The length is to width ratio of these sheets is 1 is to root 2. The second type of sheets are special elongated sheets which are larger in size if the length is to width ratio is a numerical multi. Exceptional elongated sheets are larger than ISO A type sheets and hectic to fold out. For marking, plotting and naming, we use a write-up instrument pencil. An engineering drawing pencil vary from 9H to 7E where clay and graphite content govern the hardness as well as the darkness of the pencil. If we look at the graph, F is the center form 1. As the number of edge increases on the left hand side, the pencil becomes harder and lighter. As the right hand side number of B increases, pencil becomes soft and it darkens. The darker lines are used to indicate the firm and objects which are actually existing and whereas the lighter ones are for the center lines, dimensions, detailing. Instrument box is what contains the other important tools to draft our engineering drawing. Compass, small and big, divider, protector, set square and lead. As for talking about the compass, the small compass is used to draw arcs less than 20 cm and the bigger compass for more than it or we can use extension bars for that purpose. The protector is for making the angles whereas set square is to draw parallel and perpendicular lines which are inclining over an angle of 45 degree, 30 degree or 60 degree. Here is a thing to note down that scale is not a part of instrument box it is replaced by T square. T square is an instrument which is used to make perpendicular and parallel lines with an accurate measurement. Coming up to the mini drafter which is most frequently used by engineers to draw and drop down parallel and perpendicular lines or any of the inclined lines by fixing the mini drafter on the board. Now coming up to the last part that is sandpaper. Sandpaper is used to rub down the nibs of the pencils and make them sharper pointer to have proper width of the line. Now if we consider the margins on a drawing sheet, the left hand side margin is always greater than the upper bottom and the right hand side margin irrespective of the orientation of the sheet. The sheet A0 and A1 have the minimum margin of 20cm and the maximum of 25 whereas in A2, A3 and A4 ISO sheets the minimum margin reduces up to 10cm. The lower right hand side corner of a drawing sheet is always reserved for the title block. Coming up to the title block of a drawing sheet, the title block should always contain a representative factor, title of the sheet, description of the sheet, projection in which sheet is made, sheet number and the sheet type. It is also included with the signature of the designer and the checker. Here are the few types of title blocks which could be used on the basis of their orientation and dimensions. The maximum dimension of a title block is on the width side which is 170cm and on the height wise it is 20cm. Now let us talk about the projection methods on which we are going to represent our drawing. The projection method is divided into perspective and parallel projection. Perspective projection is like a point source emerging out an object. For an example, take it as a projector on a picture hall. Nearer will be the screen, the smaller will be the object. In this type of projection, representative factor plays a very important role. Now coming up to the parallel projection, in parallel projection object itself is placed over the paper and parallel lines are drawn over it to draw down the exact image of the object. Parallel projection is further divided into orthographic and oblique projection. Orthographic projection is further divided into anisometric and multi-view projection. Coming up to the orthographic projection, it is a parallel projection technique in which parallel lines of sight are perpendicular to the projection plane. As we can see in the image, the object is placed over the paper and the plan view number 5 is drawn over it. Coming up to the types of orthographic projection, the first one is the first angle projection and third angle projection. In first angle projection, the plan view is generally below the object, side and front views on the left and right hand side. Now third angle projection, the plan view is over the object. The symbols of these projections are the concentric circles and the object on the left whereas in third angle projection the object is on the right. 
Now coming up to the multi view of drawing. It represents accurate shape and size and require practice in reading and write. In this type of drawing we represent the object in different views. As for the example the third angle projection of the sheet contains the plan view, front view and the side view of the object. Another type of projection is isometric projection. This projection is generally taken from an angle over an elevation. More proficiently it is 45 degree or 30 degree angle. This type of projection is generally a 3D projection which represents all three sides of the object in a single plane. Another type of projection is auxiliary views in which we represent the different faces of the plan over the hatching part. Now the hatching part represents the not true shape and the auxiliary part represents the true shape. The another frequently asked topic of UPSC is the type of lines. Generally there are thick lines and th thin lines. Thick lines are the visible lines which plot out the margins like footing, brickwork which are originally existing. Now the thin lines are the dimension lines, extension lines, letter lines. The dashed lines are also known as hidden lines and the dashed line with a simple dot is known as the center line. Coming up to the important symbols which are branch independent and frequently used in the engineering drawing, those are tolerance symbols. The tolerance symbols is a double parallel line with three blocks. The first block showing the tolerance symbol, the second block showing the tolerance value and the third one the datum letter even if it is ampere or kilonewton. Tolerance is the upper limit value of the load which design element can resist. Now coming up to the sections. The solid section with the round opening is represented as solid section with a circle and a cross and hollow sections over the diagonal bars and solid section is represented as simple plane figure. Coming up to the manufacturing processes of the symbols. Now simple under root represents that any of the manufacturing process is permitted either you can add the object or you can remove the object. Under root signature with a V sign closed material shall be removed from it and under root signature with a circle over it metal material should not be removed. Now coming up to the lettering standards of engineering drawing. Lettering standards are denoted by the NC standards. It is generally used that minimum height of the text should be 3 mm and the spacing between the text should be at least 1 by 3 of the height of the object. We should be using all of the capital letters in naming. Now coming up to the scaling and dimension of the object. Scaling is always done at a full size. Either we are drawing the object a full size object, half size object or quarter size object as shown. Dimension should always be placed outside the part of the object. Ok friends, I have tried to cover all of the portion in engineering drawing. For more you should refer to ISSP46 which is IS code of engineering drawing. Thank you, hit like and stay subscribed.